So first thing we're going to do, we're going to make the bus alive. We're here at substation 13, an old 1904 rotary converter substation that went online in 1904 to feed the New York City subway. Well, we're lucky enough to have one of the old 1500 kilowatt rotary converters available to start up from the DC side, bring it up to speed, and give the audience a chance to see what it looked like and felt like to get the machine up and running. And uh, you have to remember the machine is going on 118 years old. And there's the circuit breaker that takes 600 volts from the third rail and makes all the switches alive. Now one by one, I'm going to slam the bus alive switch in. I'm going to cut in the bus auxiliary. And now the field is alive on the old rotary converter and it's slowly coming up to its 10 ampere set. And as soon as it hits full field, then I'm going to close the main armature switch, which starts the rotary to spinning. Right now the rotary is starting to spin. The DC current is slowing down. And one by one, I'm going to cut out the starting resistors until it comes up to speed. Full speed on this machine is 250 RPM. Right now, the rotary converter is running directly off the third rail as a direct current motor. If this was a, a live machine going on the line, I would have 25 cycle, 25 hertz power coming in from the powerhouse. And then I'd be adjusting the field strength to make the machine go faster or slower so I can finally hit the zero point and synchronize the machine. As soon as that needle would point directly up at 12 o'clock, then I would come over to the oil switch, close the high tension oil switch in, and then the machine would be running as a synchronous motor. I would close the direct current breaker and that would connect the machine to the bus. And then depending on what the voltage is, we have a differential voltmeter here, and we try to have the rotary about the three to five volts above bus voltage. And then at that right moment, boom, I close the positive breaker in the basement, and the machine is on the line supplying power to the subway. This is the story of substation 13, which was built and put on the line in 1904. We share a common wall with the Letterman Theater. So our engineers, IEEE and uh, uh, CBS got together and they devised a method to shield the control room. Now when you watch Letterman or Steve Colbert today, the, the, the actual control room for the TV system is underneath the stage. So while they were rebuilding the Letterman Theater, they ripped the stage apart, they put steel plate bonded, grounded, and that did an excellent job of shielding the electronics. When you look at television, television makes everything, it gives you a different perspective. It makes it look like you have a vast area. But uh, no, you have a very short stage in the Letterman Theater. So next time you see Colbert standing up and doing his routine, uh, we're barely 12 feet behind his head. <laughs>